Hi, welcome back to PSL Living. I'm Jenny Newell. Club Med at Sandpiper Bay will again this year be hosting National Volleyball League. They're going to start their tour there. They're going to end their tour there. We've got a few folks from the National Volleyball League here with us today to talk about that. Albie Hanneman and also Molly Menard, founder and co-founder of National Volleyball League. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Albie, we've had you on the show before, but Molly's new to the show. I am. You've been a part of National Volleyball League. Like I said, you're the co-founder. You're the CFO, but now you just moved here, is that I right? I did. I just moved here from California. I'm originally from Wisconsin, um, but I'm really excited to be living in Port St. Lucie and training at our awesome facility at Club Med. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And Albie, this is, how many years have, have, have you been associated our with Club Med? Our third year here now. Third year? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, you're starting the tour. That's in May? Yeah, we'll be in Port St. Lucie at Club Med, um, May 20 to 22nd to start the pro okay. season, and then we'll end the pro season September 9 to 11 okay. to, to have the Players' Championships. Okay, and the public is invited to that as well? Yeah, it's a huge, uh, like a festival atmosphere, so families come out and enjoy it, and it's just great to see the best players in the world here in Port St. Lucie. Absolutely. So you also run an academy there as well? Yes, it's been really exciting for us. We had about eight kids last year, and now we have over a hundred. Oh so we're playing indoor. We're at um, um, a really interesting point of our of our business because there's so many people coming to move to Port St. Lucie now. So you know we're working every day to make sure that they're seeing all the good things that Port St. Lucie has to offer. Absolutely. And again, you said that people are moving to Port St. Lucie to be part of this. Here's one of them. Yeah, Here's right the here. <laughs> I know you came from, from beautiful California. Not that Port St. Lucie is not beautiful, but it's such a change, right? California right. to Florida. Volleyball has been, been traditionally West Coast, um, and so I'm excited to, to train here because I play on the tour as well. Okay. Um, and again, with our world-class training facility and the awesome weather, here. Absolutely, and I'm I'm really enjoying the wildlife as well. Absolutely, <laughs> you mentioned some gators. Seen oh a lot yeah, of gators. I have a gator in my backyard. So mm -hmm. I'm originally from Wisconsin, and it's nice to kind of be back. This feels a lot like Wisconsin in the sense that there's does it? it does besides the weather, okay. but just everybody is so nice here. Oh good, and um, just all the the beautiful beautiful scenery. Yeah, well we're definitely we're so happy to have you. And like you said, it's the third season, and it was very successful last year. You had huge crowds last year. Yeah, it was great. I mean, people had to get used to you know really having more than just the New York Mets in town, you know? Right. So it's nice to have pro baseball, pro beach volleyball, and <clears throat> really what we're offering the families, um, you know, to come out and be a part of it and just giving kids the, the best training opportunities that they can get anywhere in the world. I, I was going to say, and absolutely, so it's grown from eight to a hundred. Yeah. How did, how did word spread so quickly to, to gain that, that many well, more kids? Well, it's, it's really a lot of social media, you know, wherever we're going with the tour itself, um, we're promoting like crazy and just, uh, Having again. Having the pro tour associated with it, yeah. I think, is really important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely gives uh, an aspirational uh, platform for right. the kids to want to play. Well, on. it's more than just kind of recreation. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that that's not good and a good learning tool and everything else, but this is this is yeah. you are you are driven and our two and head coaches at um, at the academy both play on the tour as well. So they're getting real you know real lessons from pro players, which I think is exciting. That for definitely the adds mm -hmm. some more. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's also it. interesting. Mm -hmm. You had we had uh, the the Dutch. Olympic and world champions were here. They're number two and four in the world right now. So they come for a month and train. We had the Japanese Olympic team here oh just gosh. recently. And so all the academy kids get to see these players along with the National Volleyball League mm -hmm. players training there. So it's been great. I mean, we're really excited to, to, to be able to host all these great players from all over the world. Absolutely. What are, what's the age range for the kids that can take part in the academy? Um, it's about eight to 18. So eight. <coughs> start we're starting young? with the little guys. Yeah, oh, my daughter's eight and she's playing on a 12 and under team, which oh, is wow. probably more nervous than I've ever been, but she's, <laughs> she's hanging in there. Um, but it's nice. Again, it's we have really what I think separates us is our coaching. We have great coaching. Our facilities are unbelievable, and you know they can go to school there full time, um, or just go part time and come train with us. That's what I was going to ask. How in, how intense is it? How and I don't mean to say it like that, but I, I guess how many how many hours of training well, yeah, do these kids go through? Give you an example. So my my 14 year old and my 11 year old go to the go to school at, at Club Med, okay. and so they'll be uh, 7:30 to 8:30. They'll have class, and they'll go meet the trainers to work out. They'll go back to class, go to lunch, go work out again, okay. go to class, and then come again with like the sports psychologists and the nutritionists, and then we coach them. So it's 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 more than the professionals do, <laughs> but it's in a way that's fun for them, and they're also right. getting their school done, which is an amazing right. school because they're all going to the top schools in the nation too. So it's okay. really focused on 
uh, if this is what they want to do, mm -hmm. then then this is the best place for it. They're all very focused. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. I was going to say, they must really love it yeah. if they're willing to do it that, you know, several times a day during, oh, yeah. the, during the day. And I think it's interesting. They um, have their schooling in blocks. Um, so if they do have a lot of competitions in a certain month, they can kind of finish their their um, schooling ahead of time to give them more right. free time. So it's very flexible and uh, okay. they work with the athletes. But obviously athletes, school's very important and, and you definitely want them focused on getting good grades. And I mean, does it run through like a like a typical school year would? Yeah, I mean, it does. It? It's August to, to about mid-May. Okay. And so, um, you know, there's tennis, golf, and volleyball. So okay. the whole year you have about a little over 100 kids from the other sports from 40 different nationalities. So the kids get to learn different cultures and be around this, wow. this great environment. I mean, it's, you know, you know, my daughter called me the other day and she finished her swim because they have to work, do these different workouts and, she, and I thought something was wrong and she oh. goes, Dad, I just wanted to let you know we're laying out for 10 minutes before class. We love it here. And I'm oh like, that's God. the kind of phone calls that I want to get. They're Good. at the pool laying out in between class and their workout. Wow, so it's kind of cool. that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I might want to go back to school. I wish I, I guess had I'm too, this. I'm too, I was going to say I'm too old, though. It's only 8 to 18. Well, the yeah, old, you, know, you can come and have fun. We'll teach you to. We have adults to, to come, that come, too. So they'll come for the weekend or whatever that just want to get more extensive training. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 We have uh, okay. some great fun with the, with the adults it, as well. If people want want whether information on the tour or the academy how what's the best way for them to get information well cl clubmedacademies.com and then they can look and see the different sports that are offered there okay. or the nvl.com has our okay, schedule and specific and volleyball stuff yeah. and of course our facebook page um okay go there for some information as okay well. great great okay gosh yeah. that's a lot that's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. so again it, this is growing it's wonderful uh, any other plans i guess for Treasure Coast Volleyball. Yeah, wise? Uh, interesting. You say we'll, 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 we'll <laughs> set our, you up our, for that. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> we're talking now about um, you know there needs to be a big multi-sport facility in this area from from Fort Lauderdale all the way to Orlando. There's nothing big that can host big volleyball events or other sports for that matter. So mm -hmm. we're in some big conversations now. Um, you know, we want to be a part of everything that's growing in this city. That's so great. you know, we're excited and. Um, we hope to have that that conversation, you know, finished okay. and taking the next step. Okay. There. Okay. Well, definitely keep us keep us updated yes, and, and let us know when there's some movement there. And we'll definitely yes. get you back on the show. Can you just say the uh, the pro volleyball tour dates one more time, just when folks can yeah, come out to it, watch it? May May 20th to the 22nd is the opening um, pro tournament. It's okay. the East Coast Championships, and then we run our our biggest. Uh, Tournament of the year, September 9 to 11, and that's the Players Championship, all at Club Med in Port St. Lucie. Okay, there's another event going on at Club Med as well, right? Our Junior Championships. Junior. Thanks again. Okay. Our Junior Championships is uh, it's called the Global Challenge Invitational. So we have kids from all over the world. All of the college coaches come to oh, recruit wow. the kids, and um, it's it's right in the middle of the summer, the last week of July and the first week of August. So. We have a national junior tour all over the country that ends up getting bids to come to Club Med to play in this exclusive tournament. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting, and that's a big family. So yeah. Water slides and food trucks, oh, and then wow. we, we do it all. But it's we a had lot of one fun. last uh, one weekend <coughs> last year, and now we have to devote two weekends to it. Because yeah, it's it, grown so big. Yeah. So. Oh wow, yeah. that's great. Yeah. We are so happy to have you here. This is so great for our community, and it's such, it's just neat to be there, even if you don't play volleyball. Or it's just neat to go out and watch. And like you said, there's so many people from all over the all over the world. Yeah. to participate in all these events. So, Molly, welcome to thank Port St. Lucie. We're so happy you. to have you. Yeah, yeah. And we thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back after these messages.